Hello Pistons fans, David Mayo from M Live here tonight from Chesapeake Energy Arena in Oklahoma City where energy was something that was lacking with the Pistons big men tonight in a 103-87 loss to the Oklahoma City Thunder. Two lopsided losses this week, the second double digit loss of the week. Uh, two of the four times that they've been held under 90 points, the Pistons this season, have been this week. Uh, their shot selection was terrible. Kentavious Caldwell Pope, despite a good defensive game, had grown a lot in that area, took some terrible shots tonight. And yet the big concern is that both of these big losses this week came much the same way. The clog, clogged interior took away uh, Andre Drummond's threats, a threat on the inside, took away Reggie Dr Jackson's driving lanes, forced the Pistons to shoot the ball from the perimeter, and they didn't make 16 three-pointers tonight like they did against Miami on Wednesday. Uh, that's become what it's, that's what it's come down to in a way for the Pistons is teams are going to t take their opportunities to take away Jackson and Drummond and make the Pistons prove they can make shots from the perimeter, which they haven't done consistently this season. After the game, you know, the big storyline here tonight was uh, Reggie Jackson's return to Oklahoma City. Kevin Durant called Andre Drummond the best player on the Pistons after the game, and he called Caldwell Pope the second best player on the Pistons. Russell Westbrook, when he was asked about uh, Reggie Jackson, uh, feigned ignorance, pretended he didn't know who, the, who anyone was talking about, who the media were talking about, and uh, uh, dismissed it as just another guy playing just another game, just another player on just another team. And the problem was, tonight Reggie Jackson really was just another player on just another team. And that's not what the Pistons paid him $80 million over five seasons to do. Nine to one in blocks, 58 to 38 in rebounds. You aren't going to win many games like that unless you shoot lights out, and the Pistons didn't do that tonight. Even if they had, the interior dominance by Oklahoma City was really alarming. Uh, the Pistons will get back to it Sunday at Brooklyn. They certainly have to be better than they were tonight. See you then.